Even Derek Lewis isn't sure why he's in another main event. On uh, Wednesday this past week, the Black Beast told reporters that he'd much prefer not to headline if only for the fact that he doesn't want to fight for five rounds if he can avoid it. Besides, Lewis is old hat at this, having previously been featured in 10 UFC main events, a rarity for a non-champion, given his history. It's not likely that Lewis needs the full 25 minutes anyway when he fights the streaking Roger Gones mentor at UFC St. Louis on Saturday. Lewis looks to add to his UFC knockout record 14 and halt Nas Mento's four-fight unbeaten streak for Nas Mento. Lewis represents the biggest name on his resume to date. After beating Dante Mays a second time in one of the most unnecessary rematches in MMA history, Nas Mento is now out to prove that he's a legit title contender in case that gets stronger if he gets past Lewis. In the company main event, St. Louis on joke when Buckley gets his wish to fight in his hometown, but he might regret not having a name to call out after his recent win over Vice and Luke. Buckley defeated a ranked opponent for the first time, which should have earned him another name with a number next to it. Instead, he faces the dangerous Narsultan Rusebov, who is 2-0 in the UFC and has nearly 50 pro bouts under his belt. Why nothing? has been announced yet. The heavyweight champion recently revealed that he's almost ready to return to action, saying he has a date in mind and a verbal agreement for his eventual clash with Miasic this year. Also on the main card, light heavyweight veteran Alonzo Manyfield looks to snap Carlos Oberg's five-fight win streak. Diego Ferrer returns to fight 19-1 lightweight Matthews Rebecca. Veteran featherweight Alex Cassiers takes on Sean Woodson, and Waldo Corsacus to fight his heavyweight knockout machine Robles de Spain. All of that preamble is to say that Nas Mento can become the hottest heavyweight in the UFC with a win over Derek Lewis, and considering the modest state of the division, that has to mean something. At the very least, Nas Mendo should get a fringe top 10 contender with an impressive performance on Saturday.